Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Attleboro Arts Museum's Community Gallery is exhibiting a new artist for the month of July. Suzanne Riette Keith is showing a series of her mixed media collages. AACS's Austin Ricketts spoke with Suzanne about her art. I'm a member of the Attleboro Art Museum. From, I've been a member for a few years and I've exhibited here also, but this is my first time as a uh, having a solo um, exhibit in the community gallery. Um, and there, this time then, I have been working on collages and exploring, the co combining patterns uh, in paper, and but also painting. I usually paint the backgrounds first and do an abstract uh, painting, I guess you say, and uh, combining different colors, and it sort of sets the tone of where, what step I'm going to do next with the papers, the prints. And, and uh, at one point I was doing mostly uh, still lives, incorporating uh, chairs and vase, vases with, you know, florals and, um, and just kind of making it semi-abstract, but still uh, being able to tell what it is. <laughs> Um, which I like. I like that freedom of just placing pattern here and there and making it work together. So I applied and um, got in touch with Abby and um, she said, yeah, we'd love to have you for the month of July. So I thought, great. I've never had a solo show. <laughs> As you can see, most of them are, are still lives, but a few are f figurative. Um, I cut out that bicycle in this particular one. And, and just one thing led to another. I thought, oh, I want to do some funny figures and have them gaily going along, having a promenade or whatever. And so one thing leads to another. A couple of these have cats. I'm a big cat fan. And uh, sometimes you, it's hard to see them. Sometimes they have to kind of look. And... Uh, but I, I look for patterns uh, through anything in the catalogs. I cut the paper out in the wall, wallpaper books, um, scrapbooking books, anywhere, uh, gift wrap paper, uh, anything that appeals to me. I have a good stash. Uh, as I said, I start off uh, with the background. I actually use acrylic paint and do like an abstract with colors that I, I like, and then that kind of sets the tone for the uh, color of the patterns that I choose to incorporate. And sometimes I'll incorporate um, like images from, this was actually from a gift wrap, these little strawberries and cut those out. So sometimes I'll use a actual real uh, object Actually, the strawberries appear here also, but I'll th throw in letters or um, symbols uh, that, w that work, that I feel work. Like this one has an X in it that has one of the uh, and sign. This one has a couple of letters in it, Z and U, that I just like for no reason. They don't mean, the letters don't mean anything, but they just like the color and the shape, yeah. I hope people enjoy the show. <laughs> That's it for today's update. You can see all of our content by visiting our website, AACS.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app, or by visiting the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm David Angel.